he shouldn't have taken that hit. We're gonna lose. What can we do? Fake right. Go left. Block hit. Pivot just enough for the lights to blind the opponent and knock out. I know what we need to do. Mm. Really bent down. So today we're gonna to touch a bit more on sport nutrition. Hi, I'm Adela. I turned 31 this year and I'm a sports scientist at the National Youth Sports Institute. So what we do as a sports scientist is to work with the coaches and athletes to collect performance data from their training and competitions and then find some ways to help them optimise their performance. Yes, science! We usually work in teams uh, as each person has a different specialisation. So for me, I'm a performance analyst and I work with a sport nutritionist, a strength and conditioning specialist, a physiotherapist, physiologist and a sports psychologist. So each of us uh, goes through three phases of work, which is uh, the preparation phase, where we either have meetings with the coach to plan something out and prepare the equipment necessary for the session. There's the execution phase for the session, where we collect the data. And then there's the post-session phase where we will analyse the data and just generate a report for discussion and continuous improvements for future sessions. So we have various tasks uh, involved. Most of our time is spent on athlete support where we will make direct contact with the coaches and athletes to do some testing and get some data on what their performance is like in training and competitions. We also do a fair bit of our research work uh, on innovation. So we look up the latest technology and just read up on how else we can help the athletes perform better. These engagements can last anything from maybe between uh, six weeks to even several months. For me, I am a team lead for performance analytics, so I do have some management roles where I'll look after uh, those in my team and check on their progress. So we do need to monitor their progress uh, once in a while. And that's where the year-long plan comes in. So we have planned out when we should be coming in to perhaps test them again. So in this job, I've had the pleasure of being able to travel for international competitions and also to provide support for the athletes at training camps. Being in the Botswana, Uganda, is the most memorable. It's just very different there. The enthusiasm level of the crowd is really mind-blowing. I think some of the misconceptions about being a sports scientist would be that we have some sort of magical formula or ingredient to give the athletes so that if they consume it or if they do something, instant win. That's really not the case. Our focus is more on getting them to attain a level of consistency because as youths, there are a lot of other distractions that will impact their performance. So our focus is more on getting them to eat right, to recover well and train better. Do we need to be sporty to be a sports scientist? I don't think we need to be uh, actively engaged in sports, but it's important to have an interest at least. For me, I like watching sports. It doesn't have to be live action sports. Uh, I do like to watch like sports enemies. So my favourite is actually Slam Dunk. So after junior college, I did a stint in Polytechnic for a diploma in physiotherapy. And at the same time, there was an opportunity for me to do a degree in sports science. So after graduating with the degree in sports science, I worked at NYSI for about four years before deciding to take on a master's in sport analytics. As a sports scientist, I think your communication skills really need to be top-notch. So for verbal communication, you will read a lot of journal articles that use a lot of technical jargon, but you need to really distill it down for the audience, which would be your coach and athletes. And you need to find a way to turn it into simple terms that they can understand. Uh, some skills that a sports scientist should have is firstly a good grasp of the foundational knowledge of the different disciplines. For you, if you want to be a sports scientist, I say get involved as much as you can, either through volunteer work, part-time work or even an internship. As Singapore's sport industry is actually quite small, it's really about who you know. So I would really strongly suggest to youth that if you want to get into this industry, just get out and get involved. <laughs> <laughs>